so I'm here with my 97 Boxster. Uh, I've had this car for about six years now, and um, it's really been a great car. I paid uh, about $5,500 for it uh, six years ago. I think um, prices have come down even more, so they're really a pretty remarkable sports car value. Well, I've put about uh, 25,000 miles on it over six years' time. And it's been remarkably reliable. But recently, one thing that I encountered is that sometimes when I would start it, it would not catch an idle. So I thought perhaps the battery was getting low voltage, so I put a new ba a battery in it, uh, but that didn't help. So the next step was to uh, remove and clean the throttle body and the MAF sensor. I put the Boxster into service mode here, which is a matter of uh, lifting the rear clamshell and then uh, putting the rear part of the convertible top up in the service position, removing the panels that are over the engine, and uh, then I could see uh, the plenum and the throttle body. It took a little bit of work to get it disconnected, but it was really not too bad. A few hoses, uh, electrical connectors, and kind of down low, there's, there's one uh, 10 millimeter nut that holds on um, a bracket, a rubber mounted bracket that holds the uh, throttle body in place. So once you get that done, um, it's really just a matter of disconnecting it from uh, these uh, rubber tubes that go to the intake manifolds and the plastic tube that goes to the air box. Uh, once you get it out of there, then you can lift it out pretty well. And uh, so there it is, the plenum and throttle body from a 97 Boxster. So I've got the, uh, the plenum and the throttle body out of the car here. And um, that was quite a bit of junk in the plenum here. I've already done some cleaning on it, so it's looking better. Um, and, and I was able to do a little bit of cleaning on the throttle body here. It's still a little more junk, but it was, um, it was kind of a mess. But I was noticing looking in through the plenum here that uh, the throttle body is still pretty dirty on the inside. So I, I decided I was gonna split the, uh, the throttle body from the plenum so I could get at the back side of the butterfly. I went ahead and marked the throttle body and the plenum with a little bit of Sharpie, if you can see that, uh, just to make sure I got it back in the same orientation. So you can see in the plenum, there's just a little bit more uh, cleaning to do, nothing major, but there's some junk built up there. And here's the back side of uh, the throttle body. And, you know, it looks like it could use a good cleaning. So I'm hoping between cleaning this up and cleaning the MAF, which I'll uh, cover in a minute here, um, that uh, maybe I help my starting. Okay, issue. so I've got the, the cleaned throttle body and plenum. I cleaned out the, uh, the intake ports going toward the intake manifolds a little bit too. They were kind of grimy. Um, so I'm going to see if I can put this back in without breaking anything. I'm also going to clean the math, but um, Turns out they use tamper resistant Torx screws. So you want to keep that in mind if you're going to do this project on your Boxster, um, that you'll need to find uh, some tamper resistant Torx screws, um, Torx bits, which I found at O'Reilly's, so uh, it wasn't too big of a deal. Uh, I'm just kind of doing some general cleanup here of the MAF now that I've removed it. All right, so I had uh, set the Boxster in uh, service uh, mode. Uh, which requires opening up the clamshell and the back part of the convertible top. So I didn't really show you that on camera, uh, but I'll do it in reverse order. So. 